Thank you, Nastenka. What? A blossom. You are blooming, aren't you? Sure I am. I've blossomed thanks to you. Although I don't have a top full of leaves. <laughs> but... I'm a stump called Stumpy. And the fact that I'm a dead tree doesn't necessarily mean that I can't be a living stub, does it? Yes, but... When I saw you carrying those heavy pails of water... I felt so much pity for you that I simply had to do something, so I blossomed. But this is impossible. How could this happen? Mother Nature is powerful. To be honest, I don't understand it either. Anyway, I'm not going to lose my roots over it. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Your work is done. Sit down on the grass and rest for a moment. When the work stands still, it can't run away from you. Ha <laughs> ha! And your stepmother will wait. Okay, let's talk for a minute. Look, there's somebody walking over there. Finally, I found my destiny. That pretty girl must be my wife. I'll tell her without delay. Good afternoon, my beauty. Oh. Don't worry, maiden. I'll do you no harm. Look at me. Just behold me. Am I not a magnificent hero? What do you think? Don't you like me? I am not sure. What's your name, anyway? My name is Nastya. My father calls me Nastyanka. My sister calls me Nastya. And my new mother calls me... You wicked witch. You viperous venom. Nastyanka. Nastyanka! Nastyanka, I pray you, marry me. How can I make up my mind so quickly? Don't hurry. Don't you like me? I'm young, handsome, and I've got a ring for you. Take it as a token of... It's beautiful. Thank you, but we don't match each other. How so? You aren't modest enough. I'm not ashamed of what I know and what I can do. I'm good with my hands. I can fight. I can dance, and I can sing. And I can write poetry. Look, there. I'll shoot down that mother bear with a single hit. Wait, you can't do that. She is a mother. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Well, she ran away. I wonder why. Oh, what's the matter with me? My head. My hands. Oh, no. What has become of me? A bear's head. How is that possible? Nastya, Nastya, you... Accursed witch. What have you done to me? I hate you. Can you hear me? I hate you. What shall I do now? You hooligan. Somebody's here? Can't you see me? A stump? I'm Stumpy the Stump. I used to be the tallest oak region-wide, but then I was chopped down by people. They cut me into pieces and made me into shingles for their roofs. What do you want from me? I want you to be kind to Nastyenka. Thanks to her, I've grown younger. 256 years younger. That nice girl doesn't deserve your scolding. As if it weren't enough that she has to put up with her stepmother who keeps on picking on her. Do you really think that she is to blame for your big bare head? Oh, how stupid you are! Then who is to blame? You! Me? Yeah, you man! <laughs> or maybe I better call you bear! <laughs> or what about human bearing? <gasps> or Bear Man! <laughs> Are you laughing at me? The whole forest is laughing at you! Barely human! <laughs> <laughs>
Forgive me, old man, Mushroom. Forgive me. Now, you see. Oh, Mushroom, if you only knew what befell me. Everything is coming off exactly as you wished. A bear is making a bow to me, and it's you who's bending his back. I learned my lesson from you. Now please, help me. Advise me, how can I become a man again? Oh, you hero, you bear-headed prig. Just take a look at yourself. How did you live your life? You used to boast beyond measure, and you only loved yourself. You've done harm to everyone you've met. You weren't able to do an act of mercy. That is my answer. That's my advice now. Finally, I know what to do. Now I'll go and make amends for everything. Right, my boy. When you repair what you have marred, maybe the spell that finds you will pass. Hello, old man Mushroom. Hello! How now, Ivan? Are you trying to get rid of your bear's head? Have you done an act of mercy? I haven't, but I'll make amends soon. Have you freed the frightened young bear from the fallen tree trunk? Every man with no raft can carry people. Are you sure it should be like this? You've sawed off the wagon shaft. How do you think your mother can carry her dried hay now? You refuse to carry a poor old lady through the dark forest. A real hero never hesitates for a single moment and always gives a hand to the elderly people. If thou hadst not been a blockhead, thou wouldst not become a bearhead. Don't approach us, or else I'm going to claw you to pieces and eat you up. Stay back, bear. I'm not here to harm you. I don't trust you. A little time ago you were shooting at us. You scared my son terribly. What would happen to him if you had shot his mom dead? And what about me? You were going to kill me, deprive me of my life. I realize that and I apologize for it. Forgive me, please. I beseech you. All right, I agree, but I don't trust you yet. You humans aren't too easy to trust. I'll give you a chance. Help me to free my son from this hollow tree trunk. He wanted to hide from you and didn't notice that the trunk was too narrow for him. But I warn you, if you're planning some wrongdoing, I'll tear you up to pieces. Don't worry, I'll free him at once. No, I'd rather drown than look at myself. He's very upset. I must be cautious. It looks terrifying. for my son, but he's still frightened and can't calm down. I can't leave him for the moment. 
So bring me some wild bees, honey, for him. All right. It looks terrified. Wild bees, help me, please, to make amends for what I have done. Who are you? And what do you wish, Bear? My name is Yvonne, and I'm seeking a wife in the world. But you are behaving too cleverly, are you? No, I'm not. What do you need? I need honey for the mother bear's child. He is still frightened and terrified. His mother sent me to bring him some honey. It's the only medicine for him. If what you tell us is true, we'll give you the honey. But not that easily. First, you have to find a new hive for us. Find us a new home, take us there, and then we'll give you the honey for the young bear. Great! I know of one that is empty. Let's go! I have to find them a new hive. That was a narrow escape. I'd better not try it again. A humongous green plant. A humongous green plant. So how did you like my tidbit? You trickster! <laughs> I see you liked it. What about a wild goose, huh? I hope you really relish it this time and let me pass again. Goose, you say? That's a pretty chunk of meat. Cough it up. Will you let me pass? I will. Give me that goose now. It's sleeping. And it looks like it should be asleep for another thousand years. No wonder after it devoured the whole goose. A deserted beehive. Yvonne, we thank you! The hive is really beautiful. Thank you, my wood bees. Enjoy your new house. Let me thank you once more, Yvonne. Finally, I can bake my honey cakes. I'm looking forward to it. Goodbye. So long. You are doing well, my brave Yvonne. Sweet honey. The young bear will certainly like this. Looks like Old Man Mushroom, but that's not Old Man Mushroom. What's the point in taking this? Take this honey. It's very sweet and tasty. Thank you, Ivan. Next time you better keep away from us. Goodbye. Farewell. A 
Hello, old man Mushroom. Hello. How now, Ivan? Are you trying to get rid of your bear's head? Have you done an act of mercy? Yes, I have. It is now safely back with the mother bear. The bees have found their new home at your brother's hive. They are satisfied, and so is your brother. A ferryman with no raft can't carry people. Are you sure it should be like this? You've sawed off the wagon shaft. How do you think your mother can carry her dried hay now? You refuse to carry a poor old lady through the dark forest. A real hero never hesitates for a single moment and always gives a hand to the elderly people. some firewood. She's leaning on her stick. What a coincidence. So, how did you get along in the world? Have you found your bride? Oh, my dear lady. If you only knew what happened to me there. Well, I know what's your trouble. A single look at you shows me. And? You look terrible. I do, I do, my dear lady. What a dire fate I have met. It's all your fault. Remember, every man's fortune is in his own hands. If you'd just been kinder to people, they would have been nicer to you. Well, to be honest, that's not always the case. Because whatever way you behave towards the hiding men, they rob you and scare you and break your neck. Dear lady, allow me, please, to make amends for my errors. If you like, I'll carry you through the dark woods. Can you see that? It really becomes you well. Madam? True, you look like a bear, but your heart has become fairer, and that is much more important than you think. All right, let's go now. Okay, Ivan. Thank you. It wasn't that awful, was it? Uh-huh. Now, you see? Hmm. May you unbind the spell put on you soon. Thank you, dear old lady. And see you again. Goodbye, Ivan. I helped her with her firewood and accompanied her on her way through the dark wood. How could I have been so selfish that I didn't help her? Hello, old man Mushroom. Oh, how now, Ivan? Are you trying to get rid of your bear's head? Have you done an act of mercy? Yes, I have. It is now safely back with the mother bear. The bees have found their new home at your brother's hive. They are satisfied, and so is your brother. I asked pardon from the old lady and brought her through the woods. A ferryman with no raft can't carry people. Are you sure it should be like this? You've sawed off the wagon shaft. How do you think your mother can carry her dried hay now?
comes in handy now. The wagon is ready for use again. Mock me, please, fairy man. I am out of luck. I lost my bride and... That's a fact. But I see you've learned some magic. Learned magic? What do you mean? Yes, you have. You said please to me. You started using the magic words. In spite of the fact that they don't cost anything. You can often get more for them than you can get for a golden nugget. If you had begged me... Done magic? Exactly. I would have ferried you over without pain, but you were far from doing that. Accept my apologies, ferryman. It'll never happen again. I am returning your raft with a humble request if I am allowed to borrow it later again. Can you see how far you've come? And it didn't hurt you any, did it? Well, I'll lend it to you, because I know you'll give it back. Oh, I will, without a doubt. Thank you. Nastienka! It's good that Vanya broke the spell. Yes, it's a very good thing. All right, children, I'll tell you the rest tomorrow. Granny, please don't stop yet. We beg you, we're not sleepy yet. All right, then, a few more minutes. As soon as Nastienka came home from the lake, the stepmother gave her a piece of her mind for returning when the stump hadn't blossomed yet, as she believed. In vain, Nastienka tried to explain that the stump was in flower already. In vain did she talk about her encounter with Ivan. Nobody believed her except her father. How odd, knowing Nastienka was not a liar. Shh! What happened next, Granny? Well, a few days later, the stepmother decided Marfusha must get married. She called Nastyanka, and she commanded her 